Okay, Mr. Chair. So, uh, so we'll call to order the purpose of the, this is an emergency uh, session uh, called pursuant to, uh, let me get the statute, called pursuant to general laws chapter 30A section 18, given the sudden generally unexpected occurrence or set of circumstances. Uh, the cer circumstances are that we were informed, and Paige can fill this out, but we were informed this morning uh, or actually late this morning or early this afternoon that unless the town took action today and notified uh, the carriers today that we would be foreclosed from waiving our employees co-payments for COVID-19 testing and other services. And um, so um, uh, after consulting with Kevin, we thought it was an appropriate reason for an emergency session and we are acting under the new guidelines um, set forth in the governor's emergency uh, order from last night, relaxing the open meeting law standards. Yeah, and just for the record, this is Mike Dennehy speaking. Uh, that was uh, Chair Zulis. We have um, yep. Member Wells, Member Conlin, Vice Chair uh, Collins, and uh, Town Council Kevin Freitag on the phone, and myself and <coughs> Assistant Town Administrator, HR Director Paige Eppolito, are in the Town Administrator's office. It's uh, Friday, March 13th, 2.46 uh, p.m. now. And, and Mike and all of the rest of you on the phone, again, this is Kevin Freitag, Town Council. I just wanted to also state that a posting of this uh, emergency meeting of the Select Board was made on the Town's website. It's available. I just reviewed it. Uh, I'm also of the understanding that the room in which this meeting is being held is open to the public, uh, which of course is located within Town Hall, and I'm also told that the doors to Town Hall are also unlocked so that the, the meeting is accessible uh, to those who wish to attend. That is, that is correct. We know this because a gentleman just came in to pay his excise tax mm -hmm. after the town treasurer's <laughs> office had closed. So. Oh. But Mike, did you say you're in your office or in the conference room? We're in our office. <laughs> so I'll be willing to make a motion that we waive this. Does it need to be specific just for COVID-19 testing, not any other? To, to, it is. Do you want it, Paige? Do you want it specifically to COVID-19 testing? Uh, the, the, the chair has a motion. Um, that, that he could well, present. Well, well, yeah, I mean, R Richard could make, uh, certainly make the motion. I think, Richard, what we want to do, and Paige, you can correct us, we want to we wanna cover the COVID-19 test. Mm -hmm. We want to cover doctor's office, urgent care, and emergency room services for the COVID-19 testing, and telemedicine services. Correct. Which would be all telemedicine, including behavioral health. And this would just be to cover the copay. Correct. Um, so, I'll make um, I'll make that motion that Michael I'll make that motion that we waive that for the items that the chair just articulated. Okay. Does second? it have to have a um, time frame on, or is, well, is, or is it just the, the fact that it's specific to COVID nineteen enough? It's just specific we to the how long this could last. Right, specific to COVID nineteen. Yeah, to, to that point, I think we want to say, uh, Richard, until further notice. And, and again, okay. Paige, until you can further. Yep. Yeah. Do we need I'll to? I'll accept that. Okay. Um, uh, how do I ask a question? <laughs> well, so why don't we have a sec? Why don't we have a second, and then we can have okay. a discussion. Yeah. Se second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded uh, for the discussion. Um, so uh, in Paige's email, we we had the amounts for each of the copies. Do we need to to add that to the motion in order for it to be fully transparent? I don't think so. I mean, everyone knows what the co-pays are. I think we're all right there. Yeah, I, okay. I wonder if that would be, I just wonder if that would be, and also I wonder if that would be limiting. Um, right, you know, right, I mean, that's a good pretty, point. Um, and, I mean, this and is, just to, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. Start, sorry. No, go ahead, Richard, sorry. I mean, this is, look, we don't have to go any further than the end. If those who age, this even predates you, anyone who remembers, the Antonio Pickens case and Katie will remember, you know, the amount of money that's, you only need to get one patient on a ventilator for the next year and just the cost in one person alone, never mind how many. When you think about, we have 900 families under our policy, all you need is one or two, 
even in the high risk. I mean, we have employees that are over 60. We have retired. We have a lot. It just it only makes sense. And, and I know there was a question, too, about criteria. You can't just go decide to wake up tonight and go to your primary and say, okay, give me the code. You right. have to meet the criteria for right. testing, symptomatics, you know, fever, things of things that they think you have it. Right, yeah, well, I I understand that. I think I do anyway. <laughs> uh, it's Melinda again. Um, just just because we're talking about testing and um, doctors' office, emergency, urgent care, and telemedicine services, I just it was just a question about do we need to attach the amount that the copays cost? That, that was my only question. I mean, I think That's it is what it is. That this isn't, and it's not just us. And I honestly think that we were an afterthought because on Tuesday, I believe, is when all the um, healthcare agencies were mandated to waive these copays that had to do with COVID 19. And then they realized yep. they can't mandate self insured. So then they contacted right. just the self insured people and said, Are you on board? We need an answer. Yeah. And I think that's why it happened yeah. so quickly. Um, so yeah. it is happening for everyone else who's fully insured. They, they are yeah. being waived. And now it's just a matter mm -hmm. of asking the few towns that are self-insured whether we were on board or not. Yeah, and Paige, we think this, the outside cost is around 100000 and we can fund it through the trust. Absolutely, right? yes, yes. But that's right. just a very low guess. Okay. Excuse me, okay. if I can, right. just, I'm going to interrupt for just a second. This is Town Council, Kevin Freitag. Just for... Um, the record to be clear if everybody could just state their name before they speak on this call I think it would be really helpful okay that was me Katie asking that question so, so those Richard uh, they have one more go ahead go ahead Michael no please please Richard go ahead sorry so just two questions I just I, I think I already know the answer this is for Paige I take a cooking company and I don't know if Maya weighed in on this but I I take a cooking company would support this vote Yes, this is Paige Eppolito. Cook and Company recommends that we do this, um, and Maya also. It's just we want to be proactive. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Thank and, and, you. Just to, this, this, and this is Mike Zulis. Just to, to fill out the, the cost issue, uh, while, we, while it has been recommended uh, by our consultant Cook and Company that this be paid from the trust, um, this is something that we, mm -hmm. we will socialize with the unions uh, sooner rather than later um, so, that, um, so that they know, that, so that we're completely transparent in terms of uh, how this is being funded. And we, may seek to get, and we may seek to get a written agreement. We may want to seek to get a written agreement or a written acknowledgement from the unions that that's, uh, that that's happening as well. I'm ready to All vote. Right. This is Richard Walsh. I'm ready to vote. All right. Motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Is this a roll call yeah. vote? Do we need yeah. to take a roll call? Yeah. Yes. From town council, yes. Please take a roll call. All right. Um, Mr. Wells? Yes. Yeah. Ms. Conlon? Yes. Ms. Collins? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Zulis? Yes. I think we're done. Uh, motion to adjourn. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Uh, well, Linda Collins, motion to adjourn. Adjourn. All right, Katie Conlon, second. Sorry, one, just from town council here, one second. On that motion, I just think that it's important that there also be a little tag at the end just to say that the motion is to approve subject to any other legal requirements, just in case oh. there's anything that we're missing here, okay? Yep. I'll add that to my motion, subject to any other legal requirements. To my initial motion. You got that, Hillary? That's Richard. Yeah. Mike Denny, he has that. Did I hear a motion okay. to adjourn? Seconded? Yes. Thank you. I think it's been made and seconded. All those in favor? Um, Ms. Uh, Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Ms. Collins? Yes. yes. Ms. Mr. Ms. Conlon? Yes. Mr. Zulis, yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you all. Thank you. Bye. -bye.